retain the residue uh, so leaves coming from the from the crops uh, and things like that and uh, if there's any kind of input of organic matter so the, there's the use of uh, manure um, and so on and so forth so we can consider this as land change yes yeah. and that's i would uh, Yeah, so that on the first time you would consider the gradient land, but where there is no fire, the fire from the beginning is the 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 aim, the aim, the aim, the aim, the aim, the So, meaning, all the way from the land, the land is degraded, Kate, Initially, the, the, the slopes were, were full of shrubs, and after a lot of human activities, you can see the way the, the way it is right now. And uh, of late, and recently, we have we have had issues with uh, with our lake down there. The water has subsided, and even our our the, the water for use, the water for domestic use, has gone down. Um, but we have the Lokog and Krema Moruai CFA who have been partnering with the government as the, the directive that is there that we have to plant a million trees. Um, they're helping us in planting trees, they bring seedlings, they even sensitize the, the, the residents. We had several workshops in the area, and uh, we've been training the, 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 the residents on nursery, how to, to keep a nursery, tree planting, and all. And I, all I can say is that the community is now well sensitized, and we are ready to partner with whoever is willing to come together with us, so that now we can see that our, our environment is or our surroundings are restored for the better of our environment. For the better of our environment. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what are you using to do? The people you are planting, are you using them, them for something you are just destroying? So these trees are, for instance, the agroforestry system around the farm that you have, or is that you are planting new trees just to restore a forest, to recreate a forest, or you are also planting trees to then use the wood for other purposes, like 
government policy for cutting trees and specifically for we cannot cut trees in the forest but in our farms the, the residents plant trees in their farms for for their domestic use yes and even we have recently they brought for us avocados avocado trees and, and that, that that is going to help us with food and nutrition and even the economy the economic part of it Yes, you have much Oh, I don't know how much I did not know the other. No, not not uh not for the area, but uh specifically I'm supposed to plant like three hundred trees in in a yes in a location in a area in uh in a month. Oh in a month. Yes, sir. Is it open? Yes, thank you. Hi, Karibun Sana. Hi, hi. Yes, yes, yes. Karibun Sana. The reason why you have come to this school, it is one of the biggest partners in conservation. And at uh, one time, our school was recognized by the institutions and other organizations because of our activities we do including the sensitization in the local community. After seeing a lot of destruction to this escarpment you have seen all along you have traveled, we do a lot of a sensitization campaign to an extent of bringing the community together. We have a group of the local communities which deals with the tourism. And at that far corner there, we constructed it's called a hippo watching tower with the reason of establishing tourism activities within this uh, area so that the community can know that the resource, this resource of a lake is really important and also we can try to attract the tourists. The little we'll be getting from our project channeled to tree planting activities and also the work we have seen ah, along the road we have we, uh, we tried to write conservation messages. So much welcome and uh, feel free. My name is Victor, a trainee of the EXACT among the participants. Right here we are in Makereka Primary School. We are in the field trip collecting data. As you can see, this is uh, the project of the school, Makereka Woodlot where we have come to collect data and how we are going to to how we are going to to execute the data on the exact with me is Mr. Nderito uh, kindly as a uh, hello everyone uh, my name is Nderito Dego one of the participant trainee on the exact tool uh, the exact tool is a uh, tool that is used to calculate carbon uh, deficit or carbon emission in our atmosphere and uh, it is a tool that basically is intended for the purpose of uh, planning and uh, management uh, and conservation of our environment. Uh, here we are in a field, field work at Makereka Primary School along Lake Olborosat, which is the only lake in central Kenya. However, the lake has undergone massive, massive uh, degradation and uh, um, intended partners have come together with one purpose, to restore the lake. We are here to collect data so that it can inform us on the way forward. What do we need to do? Uh, starting where the lake is, uh, the state that the lake is, 
and so on. So uh, we call upon all uh, partners, the community, kindly uh, come together to restore our lake. Thank you. Okay, okay. We are very proud to announce that the 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 process, the the conservation team that is spearheading this process is the Lake Olbolosat Community Conservation Group, which is at the forefront of helping the revival of the lake. And among the partners are the surrounding schools. And through the project of creating these environmental clubs in schools surrounding the lake, Lake Lokog seeks to promote the seeks to promote seeks to promote the restoration, the restoration of, the of the lake. Okay, thank you. And we are very glad for this opportunity. And we are looking forward to putting this this education in practice. Yeah, thank you. I wanted to, to do that one in various schools. And like this one, is about, it's almost like to be given a, another to go in front of your home. Because your tree succeeded. This, the, the, the passion fruit, they have already eaten. They have harvested twice and they are enjoying very much coming and I give them in front of the other learners. Now, and they become very proud of that.